On Victoria Island, a ceremony for water. Respect given for a resource integral to daily life. But at City Hall, that respect comes in a different form. Three levels of government are creating a strategy that aims to protect the future of the Rideau Canal. And it's been a two-year process in the making. Councillor Doug Thompson is on this strategy committee. He says Water Day is an opportunity to recognize how important the canal is to the city. The, this, this body of water is uh, a historic site uh, and uh, we, we have to be careful that we don't jeopardize it. And that's one of the requirements for it to continue as, uh, as a national uh, historic site. The committee compiled information about the wetlands and the measures needed to protect the canal. But there are obstacles. The big hurdle, as with most projects, is the financial resources that would be required. Michael Brown is a real estate lawyer from Ottawa. He says conservation has to take development into account. Uh, you know, if I am buying a property and it's speculation, I'm buying it because it's vacant and I'm hoping to put up a, uh, maybe a home or a business on the canal. Um, you know, uh, you, are, you are hopeful that the regulations will be accommodating towards what you want to do. But Susan Miller says the future of the canal is threatened by development pressures. You often have um, more of a managed landscape, uh, loss of vegetation, removal of trees. So we're starting to see that evolution from, from old and small um, and maintained landscapes to, to you know, a broad lawn, you know, fertilizers, loss of vegetation, that type of thing. While the report is set to be released in the weeks ahead, funding remains an open question. Samantha Wright-Allen, CJTV News, Ottawa.